What's up, y'all? It's Trill 3 yo. It's Trillion Dollar Man. So I just watched this Chess versus Ty Law on um, CGBL. I thought it was an okay battle. And um, just to get it out of the way, I feel like Chess won. But um, that's not what I want to talk about or debate about right now. What I really want to talk about is um, what this battle helped me realize, man. And it helped me realize that um, a lot of a lot of y'all are forcing it, man. A lot of battle rappers are forcing it. They're trying to make every bar a punchline, man. Every single bar like a punchline or a bar that's supposed to go over your head and you hoping the crowd catches it, man. Um, and I realized it first with Ty Law because Ty Law went first. And this battle was a one-rounder. But I feel like um, I feel like he had a few bars that should have been haymakers, right? And I feel like if you're a battle rapper anyway, and you got that much material in the battle, then you're supposed to have at least a few bars that's um, deserving of like a major crowd reaction, right? But um, what I mean bars that should have been haymakers is that uh, his delivery was off. So how he delivered it was off. It didn't connect. And that goes down to your writing as well and how you're preparing and structuring your round. He's structuring his round where every bar has to be a punchline and his style does not allow that. So the crowd is not going to, the crowd's not going to catch what you're saying when you got that real haymaker. You know what I'm saying? Because they're already bored. Now, and when I say your style does not allow that, is um, if you don't have a style that's like B Magic or Av that's like smooth and consistent, then every bar can't be a punchline or a bar that's over your head. You know what I'm saying? And when I say smooth and consistent, I don't mean like your tone of voice. I mean like um, the flow. You know what I'm saying? You have a, a steady flow. You know what I'm saying? Bar after bar after bar. Like it's steady, consistent. The, the, the punches linked together. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not trying to draw out or act out or scheme out every, um, every bar when you rapping right now um what's happening is is uh because i know y'all gonna kill me on like oh bars that go over your head you know what i'm saying that's good yeah that's cool you know what i'm saying someone like loaded lugs jc or whatever whoever has bars that go over your head hollow the dime you know a lot of the top rappers have bars that go over your head but their bars that go over your head they're clever you know what i'm saying it's clever because it was actually dope and it's clever. Not, It's not going over your head because you, you forced it. You feel what I'm saying? Every bar you forcing it. You know what I'm saying? Every bar you're trying to make clever and it's like, yo, it's not even that deep, yo. It's, it's not that clever. You know what I'm saying? I see what you did there. Um, I missed it because that really didn't make sense. And I caught it later like, oh, okay, that's what he was saying. But yeah, that's, that's what. You feel what I'm saying? is every bar he's forcing it right and so um by the time i get to chess and he spits his round and this is this is the first time i noticed it with chess um but it's like when you when you notice something you start to notice it over and over again like when you get a new car or something like that you start to notice that car everywhere or you hear a new word or something you know what i'm saying you start to key in on things more and pay attention to it more so i noticed it with chess um was that he he acts out every bar. It seems like every bar has to be a punchline. And um I'm not really saying that him and Ty Law have the exact same style, but as far as that, like where every bar seemed like you trying to make clever, you know what I'm saying? And granted I feel like he had um he had punches that hit harder than what Ty Law's punches hit. You know what I'm saying? But the um back to the point, every bar, you're trying to act it out, you know what I'm saying? You're not rapping really, you know what I'm saying? You're not rapping too much. You're just acting out every single line. And yo, when I came in, the, the clip dropped. Like someone who was tired of school and, you know what I'm saying? You, like, whatever whatever he was saying, I forgot. Um, Now, he now I will say this. Chess had a, Chess had a line where he said, uh, the, um, a hip, like, a, something like a hippie. Ty Ty die with the piece on his shirt or something like that. Um, now he just had like a few lines like that where I thought it was dope, and um, I thought it was dope because I thought he was I thought he was saying something else. Then a couple seconds later, I caught what he was saying for real, and I realized he was saying something else that that just made it even doper. You feel what I'm saying? Now certain lines like that is like okay. Now 
that went over in my head just a little bit. I thought he was, I thought he meant this, and that's what made the fire. But he really meant this, meant this, and that's what it made it dope for real. You know what I'm saying? But um, again, he had every line is dragging it out, and that may be chess problem as to why he's um he's choking a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to act out every single bar. He's not keeping a consistent flow. You feel what I'm saying? There's really no um. It's no, like, substance to your flow. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not even saying to your content, but to your flow. It's like the the crowd gets bored with it. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, all right, it's not, it's not special anymore. Like, if macaroni is your favorite dish, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. But if you have that every single day, it's not special anymore at all. It's not special at all. You feel what I'm saying? So if you have every single bar... That you you telegraphing you basically you telegraphing like hey crowd hey crowd I'm I'm about this I'm about to say a haymaker this is about to be a haymaker get ready for this no man it's not special at all I said so if you're a battle rapper man this is just my advice again I'm not a battle rapper so hey you don't have to take it but this um as a fan of battle rap this is what I like to see man people that have consistent flow um again I do like to see and hear bars that are punch lines that are haymakers i do like bars that go over your head but i don't want every single bar if you have 500 lines and you're um in the battle i don't want 499 to 500 of those lines to be a haymaker you know what i'm saying make half of them be like a story or substance something of substance you know what i'm saying something that you're saying and link in with your flow and then the other have crazy haymakers that are going to go crazy because again if you have it too much then when we really supposed to catch that haymaker that you really want us to hear then we're not going to catch it because you're like oh all right it's he's telegraphing it again he um you know, you know what i'm saying like how was to how was do i explain it man i hope y'all like get what i'm saying get what i'm saying um but um if you feel what i'm saying let me know if you don't agree with what i'm saying let me know what i'm saying comment rate hit that subscribe button and um trill 3l is trillion dollar man y'all peace